I'm working Mary Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Well, the retreads from the Obama administration, the anti-Semitic group in that administration and in Congress and in Senate, as well as the current administration with the retreads carried over to this Biden administration, including John Kerry, are back at it again. They are offering Iran $100 million of our taxpayer money, $100 million of our taxpayer money to give to them for what? The Iranian promise, don't make a nuclear bomb. Now, if you recall, before Trump was elected, Obama sent a cargo plane with money American dollars, Swiss francs, all the currencies around the world on pallets totaling over a billion dollars. The exact amount isn't, but a billion dollars is a starting point of our money to the Iranians not to make a nuclear bomb. That was a total lie, total loss, a total failure. So what happens? The retread say, well, let's try it again. This time we're going to give you a hundred million dollars. For your promise to come back to the negotiating table to come back and say please don't make a nuclear bomb to allow UN inspectors into your facilities to see if you are being truthful reinstate cameras that were taken down or turned off for viewing on that because surprise surprise the Iranians lied they found trace amounts of enriched uranium which shouldn't be there so they said, you're out of here. The Iranians did. So another $100 million of our taxpayer money is being offered to a terrorist regime who, by the way, taught the Taliban how to make roadside bombs killing American soldiers. Regularly shouts, death to America, has pledged to kill every Jew on this planet, no matter what location they are at has pledged to destroy New York City, the great Satan, has pledged to destroy, wipe off the map, the state of Israel. They are not allowed to exist. And this administration says, okay, we'll remove all the sanctions or majority of them and take the Iranian guard off the terrorist watch list. Brilliant. These people are absolutely brilliant. In the meantime, the current leader of Israel who made a phone call to the White House, an urgent phone call, saying, Mr. President, we need to talk to you. Please do not, do not make this deal. Joe Biden and the administration refused to take the phone call from our ally in Israel because he was on vacation. Imagine that. Another day, week, a vacation for President Biden that is now approaching 160 days, the most of any president, 160 days of vacation. Oh, he says he's working. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's sleeping because that's what he does after 5 o'clock. He can't stay awake past 8. Falling off his bicycle, falling up the stairs, falling down the stairs, and lying to the American people that he had nothing to do with all the illegal negotiations his family has done with foreign countries. This is why our allies are afraid of the United States not following through on their commitment. Australia, Taiwan, Israel, the Philippines, everybody is saying, hey, we can't rely on the United States. They will not even take a phone call from their best ally in the Israel because he's on vacation. So, that's what I wanted to bring to your attention, and they are going to do it. And Iran will make a nuclear bomb, and they will use it either on New York, or Jerusalem, or Tel Aviv, or some other destination that they deem to wipe out the Jewish state. Just wanted to make sure you understood that, a hundred million dollars promised to a terrorist nation. Thank you very much. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please continue to hit that notification bell. Get yourself right with God. Get baptized, submerged in water.
in the name of Jesus Christ, great God.